Hello everybody, it is Chrissy Dreams back with another video. So today I'm about to really get into this story that um it came up on my Facebook. I I, I was I got up this morning and I looked on my Facebook and this was this was the first post that I seen. Now it says white mother killed by Black Lives Matter mob for allegedly saying all lies matter. National media fully ignored. They're going to ignore it. Now, this is what I don't understand about the whole crap and all this crap that's going on. You know what? I, I just feel like that this Black Lives Matter movement, it's just bull crap. You can't say all lives matter. They're just saying, look, we, we, well, what we're saying is we believe that all lives matter, but we're just going to say black lives matter. Is that cool with y'all? No, it's not cool with us. And it's not cool with anybody else because it is very disrespectful to say that. And it's actually people that's out here agreeing with this crap. They're agreeing with it. And I am pissed off because this, this is a mother. And now this, this this little boy, he gonna have to grow up without his mom because of some stupid stuff like this just because she said all lives matter. You got people saying black lives matter all the freaking time. But but this, this gonna cease. I'm telling you, y'all, this this is really gonna cease because I'm telling you, when they bring in that real military, y'all 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 don't even know what the real military look like. Now y'all seen them military people in there and uh, that came and the people was cussing them out and giving them fingers. That's not the real military. Uh, believe me, when they come in, you will know. And, and they will slide, they will slaughter all of them people that's, that's doing all this criminal activity. Believe me. But believe me, they are coming. And they coming in droves. Believe that. So if you think this is going to continue to happen and nobody's going to do it, you think they're going to continue to kill kids and, ki I mean, babies and continue to kill mothers and you just think they're going to stand around. They, they getting the gear, and, and they getting the gear ready for you. They getting the gear ready for you. And they see what all these people doing is buying up all these guns. A lot of these people, they only buying up all these guns because they want to kill. They want to hurt, harm, and kill. They don't want to resolve nothing. This is the same thing that Nate Turner did. He, he didn't resolve shit. He went in there and killed a whole bunch of white families. And then they caught up to his ass and they killed him. And he didn't resolve nothing. It took a woman, Harriet Tubman, to get us out of slavery for 400 years. Don't even talk to me. Okay, because I'm pissed off right now. Now, I'm going to read what happened. Now, this girl was 24 years old, and she was killed by a Black Lives Matter mob in Indianapolis last week, allegedly for saying all lives matter. Now, what else does it say? Because I want to, like, really get into this. Okay, it says Jessica Whitaker was kid, was shot and killed following an altercation with a Black Lives Matter thugs who were upset that she and her fiancé had said All Lives Matter last Sunday. According to the victim's family, the shooting started when an argument over Black Lives Matter and language. Eventually, the two sides separated and walked away from each other until witnesses claimed the killer opened fire from a nearby bridge and ran away. What a freaking coward. Open fire and ran away like they always freaking do. They, 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 they can never go down in no real battle. All they do is shoot and run. You think no really going to stand up to something? Do you think they were going to really stand there? They're, they're cowards. All they do is shoot and run. That's all they've been doing their whole daggone lives is shoot and run. They're pussies. They said it was squashed and they went up the hill and left, we thought. But they were sitting on St. Carol waiting for a us, I mean St. Clair, waiting for us to come under the bridge. That's when she got shot. The victim's fiance, Jose, told the situation. Let me turn off my um. Let me turn off my stuff because they, they my phone be going off all the time. It's ridiculous. It can't even get no breaks. Sometimes I had to shut my phone off because so much notification. It says, her grandfather posted on Facebook that multiple black assailants shot her in the head. Really? 
why isn't anybody outraged about this, he said in the post. Is it that Black Lives Matter was involved or that it was white young adults that were the victims? Whitaker leaves behind a three-year-old son. She shouldn't have to lose her life. She has a three-year-old son she loved dearly, said Ramirez. Her, fa her father, Robert Doty, Doty, told the Gateway Pundit that the Black Lives Matter supporters had walked by her and her fiancé and said Black Lives Matter, to which Jessica responded that all lives matter. The, the Black Lives Matter activists had allegedly pulled out weapons during the arguments, which prompted Ramirez to do the same. This led to them backing off, but not for for long. So they set it up the whole time that they were doing this argument. That they pulled out the guns first. They pulled out the guns first. You think somebody just going to let you sit there and pull out guns in front of them and they ain't supposed to do nothing if they're a gun carrier too? And a lot of these people, a lot of these people, they don't need guns. And they wonder why the gun shops is turning them away. Because we know if guns get in the wrong freaking hands, this is the kind of crap that's going to happen. It ain't no racial stuff. And people talking about, oh, it's racist. They just don't want us to have a gun because we're black. No, we don't want you to have a gun because we know you're irresponsible. And if we put a gun in your hands, it's going to be a whole bunch of hectic criminal thug crimes going on. Y'all just going to get hot-headed and start shooting people. And this lady, she didn't even use the N-word. You got all these people out here using the N-word, calling y'all N-words, this, that, and the third. And this lady says, all lives matter, and you're going to shoot her? That shows how pussy you are. That shows how a pussy coward you bitches are. Like, are you freaking serious? <sighs> Now, it says Dottie conformed that neither CNN or Fox News has reached out for information about the case, despite the murderer being on the loose. So, this guy is still out here on the loose, and ain't nobody saying nothing about this? This is ridiculous. Ain't nobody saying nothing about this, and we got murderers out here on the loose going around shooting people. If you say all lives matter, you bound to get shot. And ain't nobody saying nothing. Seeing it, they probably they probably mad. They probably they probably mad, and they probably still they still they still under fear after what Black Lives Matter did to them. They fucked that whole CNN building up. You think they trying to come out there and be like, well, this is what happened. That's why they're staying silent. They don't want no more ruckus over there where they're at. But it's their job as a news, uh, a big news um, reporting place, an establishment, to get these stories out here. Because I don't think people is understanding what's really going on. People think that, that, that this, what's going on is it done left. And it done cease. No. They're starting to kill innocent people. You can't even say a certain word. You know, this lady said all lives matter. And you got people out here using the N word. And throwing the N word around like it ain't nothing. And y'all don't do nothing when they say that word. Y'all just sit there and argue with them. Oh, you did this, you did that, you did this, you did that. Y'all ain't doing nothing. That's why this shit so sounds so fucking stupid to do this to this lady. And, and everybody knows only black lives matter. That's why you think they wrote the slogan. That's what it means. Black lives matter. Don't nobody else life matter. I don't care what y'all are saying. I don't care if y'all are saying all lives matter. This is what black lives matter mean. It means only black lives matter. That's why they have the slogan. That's what the slogan means. Just like you got all the slogans with these big time um, uh, uh, food places and Walmart and Target. They have a slogan and, and when you listen to the slogan, you know what they talking about. That's what their slogan means. 
the same thing for this Black Lives Matter bull crap. It says her sister Jennifer told TGP that they were walking the canal with friends after an awesome 4th of July celebration. She said that Jessica was shot three times in the head and leg. Three times in the head and leg, guys. Just imagine if that, just imagine, I, I, I know that a lot of people really don't care because it ain't your family member. But that's, that's what you had to realize. You had to put yourself in people's shoes sometimes so, so that you can realize and you can feel the pain that this family is feeling right now. Just imagine if this was your sister or your mother and you get a call that your mom or your sister has been killed because she said all lives matter and she was shot in the head three times and in the leg. Feel the pain that this family feels right now and then maybe you can understand what the hell is going on because until it comes at your doorstep a lot of people don't even give a shit but I don't care I care about it I care about this shit we should all care about it we should all be talking about this Jennifer told TGP that her sister was a certified nursing assistant doing home health care and getting ready to go back to school to become a registered nurse. So not only was this lady a mother, but she was going to be a, a registered nurse. She wanted to help people. She loved people. That's what, it's, that's what I get from her personality. She loved people and she wanted to help people. That's why, that's why she started as a certified nursing assistant and, and, a, home, uh, and a home health care aide. And she wanted to go back to school to better her life and do bigger things for, for her life and her family. And you guys actually took this lady's life away? Boy, God got, mm, God got a lot, he got a lot of people to take care of, boy. God got a lot of people he got to take care of, and he will in due time, he will. He will in due time, just like that little girl in the Bronx, did y'all hear about that, where they stopped that little girl out, and they could have killed her, and um, I found out that one of the boys that was involved in it, he, he was shot. He was shot and killed. And another one of them, the boys that was involved in it, he, he was beat down. So you get your karma in the end. Believe me, it's coming. For all these people that's doing this, this reckless, thuggish, criminal activity, your time is coming. Your karma is coming. It might not come today. It might come a year or two. Sometimes it takes longer than that. But believe me, it always come back around to get you full force. It says her son was her world. She had the greatest heart and was in no way racist towards anyone, Jennifer told TGP. She couldn't have been racist because she was dating a Latina. You know, she couldn't have been racist. It said, Ramirez says that the hardest part has been explaining to her son, Grayson, that his mother will not be coming back. It's hard to tell him his mom is in heaven. And if he wants to talk to her, you have to look up and say, I love you, mom, said Ramirez. We're going through a lot. The three-year-old boy doesn't even understand, really, said Ramirez. 
I just want justice for Jessica and her son and her family. Police are still looking for suspects and have released a video from the area of the murder. Anyone with information about the shooting is asked to call the IMPD Homicide Office at 317-327-3475 or Crime Stoppers of Central Indiana at 317-262-8477 or TIPS. A GoFundMe has been launched to pay for her funeral and take care of her son. So let's go to the GoFundMe. Oh, that's good. So they raised they raised um sixty two thousand six hundred and forty seven so far. I hope they raised all the money for her because that little boy he probably gonna need all kinds of therapy to get through this. I mean guys, this is crazy. And this was two days ago. And ain't nobody saying nothing about it. We don't care. We're not going to care when a white person is killed. We're only going to care if black people are killed. By white, by white people. Is that what we're doing right now? We're only going to care about black people that are killed by white people. Or killed by white cops. But we're not going to care about white people that are killed by black people. No, you know that's not right. We gonna care about all people. Now, if y'all don't like the All Lives Matter slogan, I don't really give two shits if you do or you don't. I don't care. But this can't continue to go on where you're gonna kill somebody because they have an opinion about something. This is a free country. This is, We have freedom of speech and we should be able to say whatever the fuck we want to say. We should be able to say what we want to say without being shot three times in the head and in the leg. Because we because we spoke up on something. What? We supposed to keep our mouths closed? We supposed to let these thugs come in here and try to take over and rule our goddamn lives, bitch? Is you fucking stupid? I don't think so. I don't think so. That is not going to happen over here where I'm at. I know it's not going to fucking happen. Because if I have to get a gun, which I, which I know I am going to, I'm going to get me a couple of guns. And I wish a motherfucker would. I wish they would try something. Because I'm not going to miss my motherfucking target. I'm not going to miss. I'm going to light your fucking ass up. Now, you people out there, you keep playing and thinking this shit's a fucking game and going around and killing people's family members because they have a freedom of speech. You keep that shit up and see where your ass gonna be. Now, I know the funeral homes are, are overwhelmed with all this killing. I, I, I just, I, I'm trying to figure out where are they keeping all these bodies at? Where are they keeping all these bodies and these people that are being killed off uh, every day? 40 people a day. Where are they keeping these bodies at? This is crazy. Because she had an opinion about something, you're going to kill her? Because she, she can't have no opinion? And you, you don't make the laws here. You don't make the laws. And I think a lot of these gun shops, y'all got to stop selling to these thugs and criminals. Y'all need to do more backgrounds. And then you got people, people be selling the shit. They're called straw purchasers. I know about this because I, I, I did an essay in my class on this. So I know about all the, the illegal stuff that uh, happens. They're called straw purchasers. And those are the ones that they, they go in there and they go get guns for other people. Cause a lot of people they don't they don't buy these guns. They go get other people to go get the gun for them because they know they got some, maybe sometimes they they know they got a criminal background, so they just really don't want to deal with anything. So they send somebody over there to get the gun for them because a lot of these crimes that are being committed, 
they they're being committed by people that don't even have a license to carry that gun. Do your research. Look it up. I do my research before I say anything. Most of these criminal activities are happening. The people ain't even supposed to be, be ain't even supposed to be uh, having the gun. Because they got they got a, a criminal background, they can't have a gun. But they sell these guns all the time on the street. That's why uh, people say it's so easy to get a gun. You don't have to have no uh, no uh, permit or anything. You're supposed to have a permit and a license, but you don't need it to go get no gun. Guns are so easy. That's and that's the problem. Guns are too easy to freaking get. We got to stop that. We got to stop them from being able to get those guns so easy like that. And it's going to come a time where they just going to take, you know, you know how everybody, every, when somebody does something, we all have to suffer. That's what, that's what, what that's what it's going to be with these guns. Only the cops are going to be able to, to, to hold the guns to protect us. Nobody else is going to be able to protect themselves because they're messing it up for us. Look at this. They're messing it up for everybody to own a gun. And it's going to come down. They're going to take everybody's gun. If you ain't no cop, they coming. They're going to uh, confiscate all the freaking guns. That's what's going to happen. Is it right? No, it's not right. But when you have criminals and thugs out here that's using guns just to kill and, and get a and to get a high off just killing somebody because they said all lives matter, that's what it's gonna come to. We gonna all get all our guns taken away because of these thugs. They're messing up everything. They're messing up all our rights. And then people talking about, oh, well, Africa said that, um, well, we can come over there. And they said that they uh, welcome, them, welcome us with open arms. And, and we got to, let me tell you something. I, them Africans don't really want um, them thugs. Them Africans don't want thugs over there. If anything, you, you should you should ship all the thugs, ship all of them over to an island and let them kill each other off. Cause they're messing up the they're messing up our whole our whole means of living. They're stressing people out. We're tired of we're tired of hearing of these stories of senseless murders. We're tired of hearing about this crap. It, it, it's just like don't nobody care unless a black person is being killed by a white person. If if, if somebody just like um, what was the name of that guy? He he just he just got killed. I forgot his name, but a black guy just got killed, and I forgot where it was at. But he had just got killed. And um, he shot at the officers first, and they returned fire. But that, that's that been all over the headlines. How you think I know about it? Anytime a black man gets shot by a cop or killed by a, a white person, it is all over the news headlines and everything. But you have this lady here that was doing something with her life and, and that was aspiring to, to help other people and care for other people and had a family, a three-year-old son, and, and nobody's going to say nothing? This should be all over the news. This should be a top story. We got to start speaking. It, it seems like we got to start speaking out for the white people that are being slaughtered. Because I'm not just going to sit back and, and do stories about, you know, black people being killed. But then you got white people over here being killed and I'm just not going to say nothing. No, I'm not going to do that. That's racist. That is racist. To care about a, a, another, to care about another set of people, and, and it's discrimination to care about another set of people, 
and to and to don't care about a, another this a different color. That's racist. Y'all look up the definition definition of racist. Look it up. It's plain and simple. This shit is all here to divide. And you know what? It's really working. You know what I'm saying? This this divide that 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 they're that uh that they're doing is working. It's working. And and you're gonna have it. You you guys ain't saying nothing about this, but this is what they want. They're setting us up. They want us to be segregated again. They want us to be divided. When we look around again, we're gonna say white whites only, blacks only. That's that, that's that's why nobody's saying nothing. They want us to be divided. And if we keep on letting this shit happen and we keep on not saying nothing about it, that's exactly what's going to happen. We're going to be segregated again. You're going to have the white people over there and you're going to have the black people over there and they're going to separate all those. You're going to have Latinos with their little spot. You're going to have the, um, just like they have it now, you got the Chinese got their own little spot in New York. They got their own little spot. You're going to have the Indians that have their own little spot. And if you go in there, uh, probably at night, they're going to shoot and kill your ass. You ain't even going to be able to... um, You're not going to be able to, to, to... Because, like... People probably talking about, well, why do I care uh, if, if it's separated or what? But there's other people, like, I like other cultures. Like, I like to eat different foods and stuff and learn about different cultures. It, it, it just, it, it makes your mind better. It, it, it just develops your mind in a different way than a person that on, only know about America. It's good to know about Chinese traditions and know about the Latinos and Spanish and and, and those different cultures. It just brings more out of you. But if they split us all up, we won't even be able to, we won't be able to, um, we won't even be able to do that. You know? We won't be able to enjoy the different cultures that they have over here. You got Jamaican, Haitian. You got people from all areas of this country here. You got Chinese people, Philippines, Mexicans, Spanish, Latino. You got all kinds of people here. Chinese, Korean, Japanese. And it's nice to be able to to go to a Japanese restaurant or a Chinese restaurant and just to taste their culture. You think we want to eat American food all the time? No. Me and my husband, we want to explore different cultures. We, We like to eat different food, eat Spanish food and things like that. But if we keep this up, we're not going to be able to do nothing. We're going to turn around one day and it's going to be segregated. And you're going to look and you're going to see a sign that says uh, whites only. And you're going to be like, oh my God, it's back again. We're segregated. Yeah, we got to stop letting them do this. We have to. And I'm hoping that more YouTube content creators cover this story. I want to see this story on more content creators their platform now. I already seen this um this uh white guy and he was doing a story on it. But I'm looking and I'm scrolling down and I'm not seeing nobody else that's talking about this. Let's get the videos up, guys. Come on now. I know y'all are talking about other things, but let let's get this story out. People need to hear about this.
If you guys are just joining my channel and you're new to my channel, please like and subscribe my channel and share this video with all your friends and family. We have to come together and we have to stop these thugs from killing us off because that's what they are doing they're trying to kill us all they're trying to kill our families so that they can rise above and do as much hurt harm and killing they want to do more killing they're not they don't want to help they want to kill and we can't let them do that i love you guys always thinking about you until next time i'm so pissed off right now guys i'm so pissed off but please stay safe and if you can just for now don't say that all lives matter Please don't say it, y'all. Don't say all lives matter, cause you could end up like this girl. We we we, we need we need to get, we need to get the the military people. In. I'm so sorry, but we need to really get the military people in here. And I'm talking about the real ones that don't give a fuck. They will blow your goddamn head off. That's what we need in here right now, and I'm so sorry. But we need them in here right now because I'm not going to let them kill all my nieces, my nephews, my sisters, my brothers, my, my dad, my mom. I'm not going to let them do that, and you shouldn't want it neither. But this is what happens. This is what happens, and this is what is happening right now because I'm looking at this girl right here. So we can't let that. God, we need you right now. We need you to bring somebody in here to protect all of our lives. We need you to protect all of our lives from these thief thugs. And, and, and these criminals that are killing all babies, they're killing all families, they're killing all moms, dads, brothers, sisters. They don't care. They're just killing. And we need you to protect us, God. We need you to put your arms around us. And when we walk out this door, we need your grace. We need your love to, to just hold us and, 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 and just protect us against these thug people. Because if, if, if we know you can do it. We know you can do it. And we know you will do it. So, God, please protect us, protect all my subscribers, protect all their families, protect everybody in the world, protect the people that's in the bad neighborhoods, hurry up and get them out, hurry up and get that lady in, in the projects that's in there, and she gotta listen to shooting every night, and she gotta worry about her kids being killed, get her out of there, get her to somewhere safe, get all these people to somewhere safe, so we, we can be better as a people, we can actually live, we can live, Thank you so much, everybody, for joining me. I love you guys. Always thinking about you until next time. I'm so sorry, guys, but I, I, I'm i just so pissed right now. I just th th This was the last straw for me. This was the last straw for me. Like, like we got we got to do something. We can't let this keep happening. We cannot keep this happening. We can't do it. It has to stop. Peace.